Hey guys, and welcome back to Irma Sofra. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make at home donut kebab, gyros, gyros, whatever you want to call it. It's absolutely phenomenal, super easy to make surprisingly, so stay tuned for how I make my gyros at home. We're going to start off with our onions and garlic. Now if you're not into garlic and you don't like that strong taste then don't use three cloves. I used three cloves and I'm going to admit that it did have that extra garlic taste to it. And all we're going to do is we're going to puree that in our express chopper um, making sure it kind of looks like mashed potatoes. And then we're just going to combine that in with our meat. Now for the meat I'm using ground beef. I'm using an 80% um, lean 20% fat on the ground beef and then I'm using ground lamb as well really enhances the flavor but if you don't or you can't find ground uh, lamb no problem you can use the ground beef um, instead and just kind of do two pounds of the ground beef and then I'm just gonna put all my spices together and there's not a lot of spices which is really nice about this dish what gives it that a really great flavor is the grinded up onions with a little bit of that garlic that really enhances the flavor and that's gonna tenderize our meat as well so we're just gonna mix this I use a a glass pan to mix it because I really want to make sure that everything is incorporated really nicely. So just like when we made chicken shawarma, we're going to take our meat and we're going to make it into this nice oblong shape with some clear wrap and then I'm going to take some foil and I'm going to double wrap it making sure that none of the meat comes out so we get that nice stiff shape that's what we're looking for. And then you're just going to place it in your freezer and you're going to let this sit at least 24 hours. I let mine sit 48 hours and it was frozen, completely solid. Um, and that's exactly what we want because then we are going to cut this up. So you guys will see what it looks like when it's completely frozen. So about two days later, my meat is completely solid, hard as a rock. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a very, very sharp knife and I'm going to start cutting it to get that signature donut or gyros style meat. So you don't want it to be too thin because if it's too thin, then it's going to come out looking like little pieces of ground beef and we don't want that. We want those nice classic strips of beef. And what I do is I take it and I make sure that it's vertical and cut it when I do it with a knife. Now I'm going to be completely honest. My family loves this recipe. So when I do make it, I don't use um, the knife. I actually use my meat slicer and it just saves so much time. So if you guys love shawarma or gyro, something like this, um, I would definitely invest in a meat slicer. I do this, the same thing with bread too. It just saves so much time. So I have this between, I think it's a one and a two. Um, so it's not too, too thin, but it's not overly thick, you know? Um, and then what I will do throughout the cutting process is I'll change up the numbers so that I get some thicker pieces and some thinner pieces. So I kind of have a variety of both. And one of the most important parts of this dish is making sure that you cook this in batches. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut up some and then you're going to start to pan fry it so you get those nice crispy bits on the meat. You don't want to cut all of it and then start cooking it because it's going to defrost and you're going to lose that shape that we're looking for for those classic strips of gyros. So I have two frying pans going on, working on two batches um, at the same time so that it just kind of goes by quicker. And all I'm doing is making sure that both sides are beautiful and golden brown. And then I have a little pot with a lid that I'm going to just keep stacking up the meat, making sure that it stays nice and warm until it's time to serve. And these are the pita breads that I use. I'm going to place them in my oven and just keep them nice and warm until it's time to serve. Now for my take on tzatziki sauce, we're gonna start with a cucumber. You're gonna use the medium sized grate on your grater. You're gonna take off some of the skin of the cucumber. I like to see little bits of green in my tzatziki sauce. And then I'm just gonna grate that over some paper towels in a bowl. And what I'm gonna do is once I'm done grating, I grate about half of a cucumber. I'm then gonna squeeze out any of the juices, just leaving us with like that pulp of the cucumber. I don't even know if that's called the pulp, but we're gonna just take those bits of the cucumber and we're gonna remove any of those juices from the bowl use that clean bowl and we're going to grate in some uh, cloves of garlic. So I'm using fresh cloves of garlic. I use two. You can use one just depending on how much garlic you want in your sauce. And then you're going to use whole milk yogurt or Greek yogurt. Make sure that it has all of the fat in it. You don't want to use like a 2% or low fat. I don't even know what, what is on the market nowadays. Um, and you're going to add that to your bowl with your garlic and just your cucumber bits. You're going to add some olive oil inside. You're going to add some oregano, as much or as little as you like, salt to taste, and then you're going to add lemon juice. Now, some people add vinegar as well. I don't in my sauce. I think that the lemon, the acid from the lemon is perfect. Um, and then you can add um, 
just about really anything to this if you want to add in some more you can add some dill some people like dill in there I'm not a dill person um, but you can make it your own and then you can do as thick or as thin as you like and there you guys have it my take on gyros donut whatever you want to call it it is good trust me you guys got to try this recipe because you will not be disappointed the thin meat looks like it came off a rotisserie absolutely phenomenal paired with that warm pita bread so good Thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, please be sure to add me on Instagram and I'll see you guys next time.